Okay, we should be live. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it looks like we are live. So I'm going to to describe today's stream, but I don't think uh, anyone will, will hear this, but uh, I've seen that there are some people that uh, watch the stream after uh, it's being uploaded on YouTube. So I'm going to do like a like if this was a video and basically today I want to mix things up by playing some chess and then playing some video games maybe um, so we're, we, we will see how how this, this will go so give me a second Okay, so I hope. Okay, now I have one viewer, so I hope you can hear me. It says excellent connection. So hopefully everything is working good. Okay, so hopefully everything is good so I'm going to start I, I believe and then uh, if more people join uh, well that will be good so I have to get I still have to get used to um, streaming and and everything okay hi Vincenzo so yes everything is fine Okay, Vivian, uh, thanks for confirming, I uh, appreciate, so let's see, I'm going to pin the message, nice, <laughs> so yeah, I, as I was saying, I still have to get used to all the settings and stuff, but I believe YouTube Studio here is very uh, easy to to use so yeah that's that's great now uh, this says the stream's current bitrate is lower we recommend that you use, use okay let's see if we can change this so this is the software here and I don't know how to change it maybe I cannot change the bitrate uh, while I'm streaming, but anyway, uh, I'm going to start and actually I'm going to to use my second screen to to see the chat so I don't miss uh, any message okay, so give me a second all right okay, we are good so yeah um i'm going to use the second screen here and hopefully uh, more people will join and actually i'm sorry uh i have some subscribers who asked me to uh, basically to um, announce my streaming and i really wanted to but i couldn't today because i, I was outside and and then I decided to to do a live stream, but I didn't know uh, the time uh, when I was able to to start the live stream. So this is why I didn't announce it. Okay, so let's see. Um, okay, I think we we can start by doing some puzzles because puzzles are always nice and I'm going to do a puzzle rush survival we will see what happens 
Um, as I said in my previous live stream, I'm not playing at my best um, at the moment, so so I don't know if, uh, if I can reach. Well, if I reach 40 puzzle, I'd be very happy, but I don't know if I can. Um, by the way, very simple puzzle. We sacrificed a rook. Not really a sacrifice, because we are going to win the rook back. But it's also going to be a checkmate, because the bishop covers the only escape square here. So, very uh, nice puzzle. A, a basic one. So now this has to be check, bishop covers and checkmate. I'm going to uh, briefly explain the puzzles. So, okay, this is better. Okay, now uh, we simply push the the pawn because um, the king cannot, the enemy king cannot uh, reach the pawn in time. So we are simply going to promote and win. This is a checkmate because the bishop again covers the only escape square. Now uh, this is a back rank mate. We go here. Um, I actually notice this is very interesting. I believe don't go don't go here because this is not a mate because uh, white doesn't have to take. White can retreat and the rook will be connected so if you go queen here white can simply go here and then if you take well you are going to lose the queen but if you go here now uh, yes um, white could have uh, retreated but we would have taken and after takes we take with the queen and it's bank rank, bank rank uh, checkmate so another very easy checkmate okay here a very nice one uh, of course if we go here we simply trade queens we we are down one pawn this pawn could be promoting so there is this very nice move uh, rook here and the queen cannot take because of the pin so very simple obviously the first puzzles are always uh, easy puzzles but actually I have a video on a 150 I believe rated puzzle and it was very nice I don't remember the puzzle very well but it was a very nice one so sometimes easy puzzles are are good ones now we are there is no checkmate in this position, but we can win a piece. So uh, um, it's not that every puzzle has to end in checkmate. Sometimes you simply win material or you get to a winning position. Uh, so yeah, now uh, I'm considering this, but is that a good move? Yeah, because the queen has to retreat either here or here and then we win a piece so yeah as you can see now we are up uh, one full piece this is simply a checkmate rook on the seventh or the second rank are very very uh, dangerous so always remember that this is a very nice checkmate the bishop covered uh, the only escape square another nice checkmate here okay and this is a very common tactic so you have to know this you give a check to force the king in the corner now it's a simple simple back rank uh, checkmate another checkmate here okay so when you see uh, the two kings uh, facing each other well you can simply deliver checkmate with the rook so remember this in uh, king and rook versus king endgames uh, you have to get in a position where 
your king faces the enemy king then you simply deliver checkmate a very basic concept now if i go here to threaten these uh, we get simply checkmated so i guess we we simply win the queen we, yes we are going to lose our queen but for two rooks uh, which is always good uh, now uh, we can immediately notice that the the queen is on the same file of the enemy king so when we are going to move this knight uh, it's going to be discovered check on the king so the question in these puzzles is where are we going to move the knight because it could be very very different so let's see let's start from the right side if we go here it's check as i said if the knight covers well we simply deliver checkmate so what if the, the king goes here we cannot go here because the knight covers so let's see here check the king goes here and i cannot see uh oh well there is this move and if takes we cannot go here so this uh, doesn't look um, right if we go here we simply lose the the knight so the same here so I'm considering this now let's see if we go here um okay so let's let's calculate if we go here the king can go several um directions here here i mean several squares so let's see if we here here um we we don't have this check so i'm definitely missing something in this position this uh, should not be uh, difficult but I'm definitely missing something here because most of the time these um, these puzzles are about double checks but now it's simply a discovered check so I'm kinda confused and this knife here is quite annoying so I, I really don't want to we also have this move to threaten these which is tempting but let's say these then we take we check king and run so i'm going here yeah uh, i simply kind of uh, gave up there now this is easier uh, i'm very surprised that this puzzle uh, I got this puzzle wrong I'm definitely uh, missing something there but yeah I'm not playing at my at my best so check now this is a very uh, nice tactic okay another one here we sacrifice the the rook to open the the h file and now this is checkmate yes black can uh can block with the rook but simply checkmate there's nothing uh to do now of course we we get in now we give this check and if the king goes here this is checkmate so black has to sacrifice the the queen uh, which is obviously winning for us um okay so here we can simply sacrifice the the rook after takes we take with the queen the file is open and the king has no escape square uh well i did consider this uh, which i should have but then we have this move this is checkmate hi mark uh, from Veryland. thanks for joining I'm glad you you're here uh, yeah you are probably the first but now I see that there are like five people in the chat so in the in the stream so 
that's nice. Uh, we are doing a puzzle rush survival and I got wrong this puzzle which was uh, definitely interesting uh, because it's 960 uh, rated puzzle so I was very surprised and I still don't see the solution here so we're going to check this out when at the end but if I can get to let's say uh, 35 puzzles I'm, I'm happy because I'm not playing very well uh, so yeah now here we can sacrifice we take and then here we go here yeah we have to sacrifice the, the rook here uh, and then we deliver this check also notice that the rook is defended by the knight otherwise that would not have been possible so if I go here the bishop covered this square but we can simply take this yeah um so mark uh, if you are in the chat uh, how are you i hope you are well the queen is in a very odd position here and actually we can trap the queen like this and then like this wait if if we take we we didn't trap the queen to be honest so if we go here um the queen can go here or here if the queen goes here we go here um that's what am i missing if we go here Um, I pretty good now, but I had a very busy last month because I moved to a new house. Oh yeah, I believe you mentioned um, that you were moving. So I was on YouTube much. Oh yeah, I watched uh, one of your videos a while ago. Uh, I left the comment, and it was a the frog feeding uh, video. It was a nice one. Uh, but yeah, I noticed that uh, you uh, haven't made uh, a YouTube video in a while. Uh, but yeah, I can imagine that because moving is always uh, tiring. Uh, yeah, it always takes a lot of time to, to move. I actually hate moving uh, to, a, to another place. Because uh, we moved to a new office a few months ago and it was very tiring. It took like, it only took like two days, but uh, it was the, the whole day carrying stuff. I hope to start uploading again soon. I uh, didn't even have any internet for about four days. Yeah, uh, well... Uh, if you want to hear something interesting uh, I still don't have a Wi-Fi at home so when I I do these live streams and when, when I record videos I do it um, from my office because well, I have the advantage that, that I can stay um, like after everyone go, uh, goes away so I usually stay one hour, two hours more, and I record videos. And I'm still looking for some Wi-Fi for for my home. So uh, I'm stuck on on this puzzle, and I'm very surprised today. I, actually, I'm kind of tired um, today. So. Um, I have kind of a headache, so I'm not playing very well. So if I go here, uh, well, there is this move, then after I recapture. No, this move doesn't make any sense. I'm going here, yeah, it made a lot more sense. I still don't know why uh, the queen didn't look like it, it was trapped, but apparently it was. So... 
Okay, now what's this puzzle? Maybe we go here. After takes here. So yeah, this looks right. Yeah. And now we can simply take the queen here. Yeah, I should definitely get uh, Wi-Fi uh, at home. So when I want to record videos, I can simply do it uh, from my home. Well, I live uh, quite close to to the office, so it's not uh, distant. But what's going on uh, today? I cannot see. usually I can see the uh, solution to the, these puzzles uh, quicker. But today I don't know what's going on to be honest. Well, anyway, uh, I was thinking today of mixing up chess with some video games. I don't know if that's a good idea, but uh, I've always wanted to to do some video game content on my channel. And to be honest, I was also considering creating a new channel where I where I do uh, video game content. But I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe I will do it on this channel because it's not like I have a, a big channel. So maybe here to prepare this checkmate. Yeah, as, a, as I was saying, I don't have uh, a very big channel, obviously. So creating a new one, I'm not a huge fan of the idea. Uh, I was playing Fa uh, Pharaoh when I saw you were on live. Oh, uh, I if I'm not mistaken, it's like a strategy game. I, I don't remember very well. So it's like strategy, I believe. So before I solve this puzzle, I'm going to mention my idea. Here I have my Steam account. Um, this is my Steam account, by the way. It's called Vini, simply Vini. And these are the games I have. I don't have many games, uh, but I could, I'm thinking about um, doing some some videos about these games. And I don't know why, but it, most of these games are horror games, like Amnesia, very famous uh, horror game but this is from like 12 years ago yes strategy but it is usually described as a city building oh city building uh, nice uh, today I, I, in fact today I was thinking about one of my first games and it it was called uh, zoo tycoon and I remember that you had to build like zoos with the animals and all that stuff, and I really liked it. Uh, Zoo Tycoon 2, it was called. So these are the games I, I, <coughs> sorry, I have, and I am. I'm also thinking about doing a live stream series about this game because, as you know, uh, my channel is called Darian Dane, and this is the character called uh, Darian Dane. So I should probably uh, do a, some videos about this game because I like it very much. It was my first video game. Uh, so it had a very strong influence on me. Uh, also, I could also do a, a series on the Walking Dead series because this game is very nice it's a very nice game with a beautiful story so I could do like a live uh, live stream series on this game I have some ideas also Amnesia as, as I mentioned it's a very nice uh, game it's a horror game uh, but I played this long ago so it should not scare me uh, nowadays, uh, but actually the the last amnesia, this one, 
Uh, this is very scary. I watched some videos on YouTube. And this was very scary. Uh, so I never played this. <laughs> and I the game I have downloaded for today is this one which I mentioned to you. If you remember, I don't know if you remember, I mentioned this game where you have you are on a ship and you are alone and you have to escape the ship and there are three monsters. Uh, well, actually with just one monster, but it's a random one. I mean there are three monsters in the game and for example you you face this one or you face the other two uh, in each game. Each gameplay is different because in order to escape you have to find some objects uh, which are all all over the ship and every object is in a different location in in every new game you play uh, the object is in a different location so it's very nice uh, and actually I believe that could be good for the the live stream uh, that should be one uh, interesting game I believe so I'm thinking about doing a live stream about that game um, we'll see we'll see let's see I've been streaming for what um, less than 30 minutes so we still have uh, time <clears throat> so if I go here takes takes yeah and now we win the piece nice so we are going to to play some puzzles and when I lose um, maybe we switch to that video game I mentioned uh, we're, we're going to see now sorry if I go here well black could even sacrifice the rook so it doesn't look right but this does because we promote and now we got to 30 so uh, that's good now if I go here 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 checkmate nice okay this is better I never been this far before on puzzles oh uh, yeah uh, these puzzles sometimes are I mean sometimes puzzles are difficult like this one uh, I don't believe I ever missed a 900 puzzle but sometimes puzzles are mm, quite difficult um, the key for puzzles is to take your time basically uh, sometimes I do puzzles very quickly and uh, I lose a lot of rating if they are uh, rated puzzles but if you take your time you probably um, you are probably going to to solve to be able to solve more puzzles okay now this one is a very key position you can take like this or like this basically it's the only move the king cannot move uh, as you can see so the problem is if you take like this which looks natural uh, if we take it like this black can push and as you can see they we promote but they promote with checkmate so we have to take like this the difference is that now we can simply push now if we take it's a mistake because they push we are not in time we have to push first and now we promote and we are winning so puzzles yeah you have to take uh, your time to solve puzzles now here probably yeah we sacrifice to go here and actually there, are, there is a video on the chess.com YouTube channel which is called how to solve uh, a chess puzzle and it's a very good one because I believe it's very useful I'm going to show it to you chess.com well maybe chess.com puzzle 
there are uh, many videos here but there is one called yeah this one it's uh, a video from six months ago how to solve chess puzzles and this is a very useful one so definitely recommended check it out if you want to improve and um, i i like puzzles especially puzzle rush because i noticed that every time i play rated games or rated uh, puzzles and i lose rating i get very upset and this is definitely something that i have to work on because when i lose rating i get very upset which is not good i should be able to manage uh, losing uh, better because i'm not a competitive person when i lose uh, friendly games like board games uh, or stuff like that i'm not competitive i don't care losing uh, i don't mind losing but when i lose games where there is a rating and i lose rating i get very upset sometimes and i definitely should improve this because i mean it's not good to to get upset for a game so now i love to take like this but there is this pawn on the way so this is not pinned so what what do we do here we are obviously losing look now black has uh, two queens so this is the only thing i can see but after these what do we do then that's the the problem how do we we get there hey francesco come stai how are you um i hope you are doing fine spero vada tutto bene we are solving some puzzles here king fc oh yeah king f uh king h6 yeah uh how did i miss that because this is obviously losing after this but now there is nothing because we can simply cover like this yeah nice uh thanks for the suggestion uh i was stuck on that one okay i'm i'm good you i'm also uh, good nice francesco yeah i was stuck on that one and that was a very nice tactic now check if the king goes here which is the only move because if the queen covers we deliver check queen, we can go here and pin the queen to the king okay yeah i'm good uh, francesco but i'm today i'm kind of tired but i still wanted to make the live stream i i just wanted to oh what what did i do it was check first and i and i pushed the pawn yeah as you can see i'm quite tired today now if i rem if i go here the night blocks and there is no time to go here so let's see here knight blocks we take king takes this pawn is very useful uh, king takes and then we want to get here yeah so it's this and we go here the queen blocks but we have this very uh, nice move but no wait we don't have this move actually oh we can go here yeah okay 37 hopefully we get to at least for uh, 40 but we only have one mistake left we can only make one more mistake now if we move here or here it's a check on the king maybe we go here now maybe it's this check here Ti saluto che qua è tardi, domani a scuola. Sì, non, non ti preoccupare. Sì, infatti, che ora è? Le, qui sono le sette e mezza. Sette, sono sei ore di differenza. 
sono tipo le, le 3 di mattina yeah, in, in Italy now it's like 2 or 3 am so it's very late so yeah uh, thanks for joining uh, Francesco uh, I appreciate the uh, you joining for, for a while ok grazie Francesco Ah, l'1.30, sì, infatti. Ok, grazie per, per il saluto. Ci vediamo. Ok, so... Uh, so, yeah, it's very late in Italy right now. Uh, but I still appreciate when you guys join and you write, uh, write a chat message. I really appreciate it. Especially now that... I I didn't uh, I didn't um, announce the live stream, so I'm sorry. Um, especially for my subscriber uh, Mugo, uh, another good subscriber of, my, of mine. Uh, I told him, yeah, no, don't worry. I'm going to announce my next live stream, and I didn't. So I'm sorry, Mugo. Next time, I promise. I'm going to okay 39 let's get this one right um, here 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 okay let's just be sure let's simply check me nice 40 yeah that's good okay um now this is covered this square it's covered twice so maybe here and then we bring the other oh we got this wrong but I'm very happy to uh, to have gotten to 40 as you can see it's uh, the seventh my seventh best puzzle rush ever so that's good now we are going to to check the the puzzles I, I got wrong and we're going to see if we can get this puzzle right. So this looked very natural because I was thinking of bringing the the other rook, pinning the the queen to the the king, but apparently it was wrong. So to be honest, I I don't see another move, and it might be because I'm tired. So. Maybe here to win the rook. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. This this move. Oh, the pawn is pinned, so we can simply. Uh, I mean, we cannot lose the the queen. So now we go here. Here. Oh, I got it wrong. It was here. Sometimes pu these puzzles you have to spend. A lot of time on each puzzle that looks like your move has to be a good one even if it's not the best yeah 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 I understand what what you mean mark sometimes it, uh, it looks like it's not the, the best move but it's a good one but if you check with the analy oh wait I got this wrong yeah it was this and I went here but it was check um, yeah if you check with the analysis you you can see that it's always the best move but yeah absolutely it's sometimes it doesn't even look like the best move okay now we got this right and I actually want to see the the first puzzle I missed I think uh, I had no viewers when I did this puzzle so you can, couldn't see that I got this wrong and it's rated 960 but I was considering these, these, these and these to do a discovered check on the king and I played these but it, it was wrong now these and these also looks uh, look wrong so I'm um, only considering these or these now but to, I'll be honest I, I don't know what the move is I, I also consider these to prepare these 
but after the king the pawn takes I have no idea so I'm going to simply try I cannot think too much yeah it was this but I thought that after this knight jump and the king goes here what do I do next this was the reason I didn't play this because I cannot go here the knight covers I still don't know to be honest I still don't know what's the move here obviously I cannot deliver checkmate because of the knight oh maybe we simply win oh it was simply winning material I was considering here how to deliver checkmate but it was simply winning the rook in the corner yeah I think you just take the rook yeah indeed um, it was just about winning material I don't know why I was thinking about we have to win the the game we have to deliver checkmate uh, but no it wasn't checkmate it was just winning material so we did uh, good 14 puzzle rush my record is 47 but this was so difficult to achieve and I don't know when I will be able to achieve that again so today, um, last time we played Holly and we were winning at some point but I couldn't manage to play the best moves in critical positions and we only, uh, we only got a draw. Um, I like to play again but today I'm too tired to, to play so maybe we play Dash it's solid 1500 bot let's play dash and see if we can beat this bot to change um now d4 i hate when bots play d4 to be honest so let's play d5 queen's gambit now i usually play the slav even though i don't know any theory uh, which is probably not the way you should play if you don't know theory, just don't play the uh, that opening. So this is the main line of the semi-slav defense, very solid position. You have this sort of pyramid here, but the, this bishop is very bad, like in the French defense. Now this bishop wants to come out, I believe either here which is more aggressive or here more passive let's go with this one although we should probably not play this because uh, when you don't know theory don't play aggressive moves um, I believe now if we go back uh, white gets this very strong pawn advance so I believe we have to take and then we can quickly castle and now this doesn't look so bad we got rid of the of course we are left with the bad bishop and white has two bishops so maybe this is worse than it looks probably we have to play e5 at some point so let's prepare that move by covering uh, sorry this square with two pieces now we can go e5 and i believe okay now uh, obviously i feel better because we forked these pieces i'm simply going to take these we could also take these but then no we cannot we have to take here okay now well now I, I love to, you know what, I love to take here and reinforce this pawn because if we don't lose this pawn it's going to be a very strong pawn it's two squares away from promotion but if we take now obviously we um, we are going to lose that pawn so you know what, let's take now we put the knight in the center yeah, and uh, the bot didn't allow me to 
uh, to take otherwise it was so winning now I don't want to go here and allow this so I'm going to take obviously this looks ugly uh, but but I believe we are winning I mean we are up uh, one piece and now this bishop is not too bad because now it's open maybe we we go here we could win this pawn but this is very risky in fact maybe it's losing let's see here rook here we can give a check it's probably too risky let's simply go here more solid and now now maybe we go here because we are threatening the the queen so maybe we we go there and if here oh maybe we you know what let's bring the the rook first maybe we bring this one oh yeah the bot didn't allow me to take so let's go here oh and the bot is playing very in a very annoying way but that's okay we we are up one piece as i said so maybe we go here attack this okay now of course we take right okay now we also take this okay now let's simplify everything maybe uh, we could have avoided losing that pawn but oh there is some counterplay here we have to be careful you know what Le oh, if we go here it's checkmate almost almost checkmate so there is some counterplay My maybe it's time but wait a second this bishop is hanging so if check where is the the counterplay we go here there is no no back rank mate the problem is if i take here and rook takes that's the the problem what but we can go here sorry here the rook goes back okay i don't want to mess this up so i just want to make sure maybe we simply go here a lot safer um yes the bishop can take but we can simply recapture and we still up one one piece so so i just want to double check if i can capture this bishop let's see queen takes we go here sliding out of the way and there is nothing but be, uh, we take the bishop and this threatening checkmate we let's see these here check forcing the rook back oh and we can take here so i hope i'm not blundering too much yeah okay now has to be winning this position now i'm considering this to open this all right let's take okay now we we could go here for say okay oh no nice this is very nice we are going to end this uh, maybe we are lucky and we get a brilliant move let's see very nice tactic uh, guys remember this when you can give a check like this the king is forced to get to go back you can play this move with a double check one and two this is forced then you can sacrifice the queen and deliver checkmate with the knight it's called smothered mate look at this it's a a beauty now of course the king cannot take because the knight defends and this is checkmate 
that's called the smothered mate it's a one of the prettiest checkmates uh, I think so I'm going to save the the game um, and see maybe I'm going to make a separate video about that game because it was a, a good one at the end look at this we played with 93.3 percent accuracy Albert Lemba uh, good luck thanks I appreciate uh, we managed to, to win in 30 moves about the uh, 1500 rated holiday bot nice win I only done a one smother mate ever in a love game nice that's that's always nice well I have probably I have uh, done just one two it's a very difficult checkmate to to achieve I mean you have to be lucky maybe here if I smart if I uh, what what am I typing usually I, I don't type so bad good night uh, thanks Albert uh, I appreciate uh, you for for joining the stream so yeah I have some three videos here one uh, smart brilliant smother made in the exchange French this was a good one I recommend you to check out this video it was a good one because the exchange French uh, is often considered a very equal and uh, drawish position but uh, this led to a smother mate in, in, this was a very good uh, one also accidental as mother mate in chess 960 against zombie bot this was a very nice one too i don't think i have watched that one yet oh don't worry mark i, I have uh, uploaded there was a period when i uploaded a lot of videos so if you couldn't check some videos out don't don't worry oh and by the way mark um if you are okay with with that uh, I might show you uh, one video one or two videos uh, on my channel I mean your videos so let me know if you want me to show uh, some videos because that could be uh, fun just to change things up but first let's analyze uh, this game so as you can see this was all theory uh, okay this was you can see that right after I play all the theory I immediately play one inaccuracy so this is why if you don't know the theory probably stick to the openings you know uh, so taking was best yeah because we cannot lose more time to be honest uh, I mean we we simply cannot give white so many tempo tempos so this was best and I this was good not the best plan but a good one now of course this was winning yeah sure that would be fun if you want to yeah why not um, we can show some videos and actually I, I really liked the video where you fed the frogs I don't know why but I always liked frogs I always thought uh, frogs are cute animals I don't know if that's crazy or it makes sense but I will always liked frogs so taking the bishop was uh, was the best move that's good to know oh and there is a mating nine we found the first move and the second one and the third oh and we found every move here so let's let's see what was this one two three four five six oh we found a mate in six which is nice uh, very nice I might do one separate video about uh, this game so by the way I'm going to give you one tip if you want to um, save 
one of um, the if you want to save one of the games you play against bots because you played a good game and you want to save it uh, make sure that you press this button here save or you analyze the game with game review this way um, and this way the game is going to be saved and you can see it right here in your completed games but if you simply close the page it's not going to be saved so always make sure that you save it also if you play on the phone there is a an option where you can save the the game so always make sure to to save your games if you want to to analyze them later or something so that's a one tip i can give so yeah let's let's see oh and by the way mark uh, last time i mentioned that uh, i didn't subscribe to any channel on my channel but i was subscribed on my personal uh, account but I, then i was thinking about it and it, it to be honest it uh, sounded uh, pretty dumb so now i subscribed and actually you are the only channel i'm subscribed to so yeah i just wanted to mention uh, so that when i watch a video i can simply comment uh, comment with my channel and you know it's me so yeah uh, i just wanted to, to mention that and what what do, oh yeah i watched this video this was a good one at first i didn't see the the frog so let's see first i i couldn't see it and then i i saw the frog here and let me know if there are more frogs but because i only saw this one beetles and uh i i grab them and i okay. throw them in the pond uh yeah and, and it's well, it's, it's good to get some of them off the oh, plants, wait, but I'm also I found out uh, the fr mute the video while I read the comment. Those bugs were eating all my garden plants. Oh yeah, they they got what they deserved. So yeah, I, I mean frogs have to eat too. So I don't. Uh, I think that's that's fine. Okay, and I only saw this this frog here. I don't know if there are more in the video. I only see this one, but there probably there are more frogs uh, in the pond. And I like how the the frog is lays very still. Uh, it, do, it really doesn't move, and then it moves very very fast to to grab the the insect and she always um almost like uh, a crocodile when you watch the crocodiles uh, or alligators they lay very still and then they move so quickly to to grab uh, the the prey So yeah, I like this video. Um, as I mentioned, I like your channel because it, it um, it's very different. I mean, for example, my channel is only about chess, but your channel has very uh, has many uh, topics and stuff. Oh, you saw a few others. Yeah, when I lived uh, in Italy, sometimes there there was a a frog uh, where I was living, but uh, it was in a city, so there was a a little bit of uh, like a terrain with a pond, and I remember I I saw a frog around sometimes. Yeah, did you ever click on about and saw the description I I wrote there? Yeah, I remember I I have written uh, I have read this. 
everyone this is Mark the subject of the videos on this channel will probably vary greatly oh yeah I remember reading this um, I will not attempt to stick with any one topic or subject I will be uploading videos that I find interesting I hope there will be some people out out there who also find some of these videos interesting I have no idea what will <laughs> interest me tomorrow that's that's great um, probably better than doing the same stuff over and over and basically this is why I would like to switch I mean not switch but mix my content up with video games because I, I really like video games I always have um, so um, I always have so and I'd like to to mix the the subject of my on my channel. Obviously, switching. I mean, not making too too many subjects, but yeah, this is my idea now. We're going to see how it goes. Okay, so. Let's see, let's watch another video. I really like this one of the cat because I also like uh, cats. Uh, actually, I like to have one cat, but for now I don't have one. Uh, I like, I love to adopt a cat in the future, but I have to be more, I think I have to be more organized to to have one cat or one pet in general I notice many channels when I click the about button there is nothing there yeah uh, that's right many channels don't have anything on the about section dogs are better <laughs> yeah dog, dogs are probably many people agree with you Vivian uh, dogs are better than cats uh, I I always liked cats more uh, yeah but uh, by the way about the about section I also wrote a small description because having this section empty is probably not good um, so I, I wrote a very small description maybe I will uh, update this in the future Hey Vivian, maybe I need to make a dog video. Oh, yeah, that that be that be cool. Everyone likes uh, dogs, so so yeah, um, making a dog dog video will definitely be a a good idea because everyone likes it oh I remember I used to play uh, Clash of Clans oh, the, there might be some delay with the stream I think there is some delay Oh, I don't know how to fix this, but I have just noticed that there is some uh, ser serious delay on the stream. So what I'm watching here is not uh, what I'm doing right now. This is a bit of a problem. So probably the live chat is uh, in real time, but there is some delay on the, the video which is annoying three horses live across the street from me now oh that's nice so I suppose you live um, like uh, how do you say that like on the countryside which is nice I live in, in Lima which is uh, a big city a really big city and of course uh, Count the countryside is good. Two, 
few dogs next to me. Nice. Oh, catching bluegills with hot dogs and a net. This looks interesting. So, Mark, let me know if you have, if you want me to, to uh, watch one video in particular. Okay, so give me, just give me a second. Okay, so Let's see. Okay, so uh let's let's see what we can do here okay let's put the chat on the second screen yeah i kind of moved away from the city yeah that's probably better i mean the city is so chaotic and then you it's probably more stressing to live in a city uh, than living uh, outside the city so yeah that's probably um, better to live outside so uh, let's see what can we see here is there a video you want me to check out mark in particular so if so please uh... oh and today is my 15th year anniversary on youtube really wow that's that's amazing oh yeah you joined on in 2007 that's amazing mark a good job 50 years it's a lot it's probably you i mean in 2007 uh, youtube was not uh, very popular so yeah um so so Maybe there is probably there is no time to play this game today also because there is some serious delay in the stream so maybe I'm going to do something something else and then we are, are going to to close the stream to to end the stream oh let's you know what Yo, you still oh yeah there is some let's see if I can, I can fix this. This is not good. Maybe I, I will end the stream and open it again. Yeah, but yeah, there is mm, some annoying delay. And uh, next time I will make sure that I check out the settings. Probably here I should have uh, selected ultra low le uh, latency because there is some uh, latency in the stream. So yeah, sh the quality is good, but
Oh, uh, bad chest number seven. Let's see, this one here. Chess.com confuses me. Can anyone explain this? Okay, yeah, let's check this video out. And let's see if... Okay, let's check this video out. And we are going to see if I can answer the, the questions. So I'm going to, to play this video. So if you've seen any of oh, my... Wait. So if you've seen any of my chess videos in the past, you'll know that often I'm confused about what's going on on chess.com. And this video is, uh, you know, another example of two more things that are confusing me. So this, I'm not going to share this game I just played here. Uh, it was ended in a draw. It was kind of boring. Um, it was actually a pretty good result for me considering I'm a thousand rated and I I drew Joel bot 1600 rated, but I yeah, um, first of all uh, congratulations because uh, Yeah uh, uh, Drawing Joel uh, is not easy. That's a strong bot there um, 1600 uh, is not easy. Sometimes I still lose or draw to 1600 uh, rated bots. So uh, that's a very good uh, job. But anyway, that's that's not the point of this video. Uh, uh, the point is, uh, if you'll note here, it says I had eight blunders in this game, and I should have won it. I had one missed win. Eight blunders and one missed win. Also, take note of the 1,000 rating here. Okay, so I'm going to go to the game review. And all of a sudden, the eight blunders and one missed win turns into yeah. two blunders and zero missed wins. So it's the same website, the same, I assume it's the same chess engine. Why did I, where'd my missed win go? I had a missed win. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't have one. I know you, what you, you mean here, and I think I know why, but let's, now, let's and how watch. How did I lose six blunders? What happened there? What's going on? And then my 1,000 rating, now all of a sudden in evaluation, it's 1,232. Uh, so none of this stuff is really important. It doesn't really matter. I'm just curious what's going on here. Uh, if anybody has an explanation for this or understands it, uh, I hope somebody will leave a, a comment uh, letting me know thank you see ya okay mark so uh, nobody ever left any comments with the answer oh i i feel you because um, even in my video sometimes i say um leave a comment uh, let me know this or let me know that uh, leave a comment you know but people who actually leave comments are very rare so sometimes I have hundreds of views and zero comments uh, which is uh, strange but that's uh, how it works I suppose okay, take note of the one so um, yeah you know what happens here let's see if if I let's see no it doesn't work well, okay I'm going to use the video Okay, what happens here is that when you finish a game on chess.com, there is a very uh, quick analysis here, which uses, uh, I believe it's the same engine like Stockfish 15, but it's on a very low accuracy. Sorry, not accuracy. It's on a very low depth. So it says bl eight blunders, but when you use the game review, which has a uh, higher depth, um, the engine re-evaluates, re-analyzes the game, and now it says only two blunders and zero missed wins. That well, what happens if I'm not mistaken. In fact, if you go to settings here, and you go to live chess, you can see that here there is a i believe it's this one oh yeah automatic analysis here and if you go 
here to this button you can see that it says automatically run a quick post game analysis for blunders and missed wins so I actually um, disable this because it's very annoying sometimes you you play a game and you say wow I play did I play, really play eight blunders and then you go to the game review and now it's it was just two blunders so this is what happens uh, chess.com runs a quick post game analysis but it's not accurate uh, at all so when you analyze a game uh, don't um, don't be surprised if you see many mistakes or blunders here uh, always use the game review because it's far more accurate so this is why um, this is what happened now the only thing I don't understand is why it says 1000 rating here and then when you went to the game review it said 1200 so I'm going to go to your uh, profile here just to to because I want to make sure that maybe uh, the maybe okay I see here 1232 which I believe is the same rating yeah so maybe what happens here is that chess.com uh, took your here um, it took uh, your rating like another a rating like blitz or bullet or I don't know but here when you went to game review it showed the rapid uh, rating so this is probably what happened I don't know why uh, it said 1000 here but the 1232 is definitely uh, your rapid rating so this is what happened here I'm pretty sure uh, this is but yeah I don't have uh, the exact answer to your question here but the other one the mistakes blunders and missed win one is definitely because of the quick post game analysis uh, which is never accurate the engine is set like in on a low depth and so it says bl more blunders than you actually made in fact it's it's like when you go here look at this okay thanks I'm checking my settings now yeah sure so when I go here it says 17 uh, 80 which is my rapid rating so this one is my rapid rating and it's basically basically the same things that happens here when you go to to this page to the analysis page you can see that here you can set the depth of the of the engine so of course if uh, let's see let's say we put uh, stockfish on 22 uh, depth here and the the first the best three moves here are e4 knight f3 and d4 okay very standard but what happens if we play let's say uh, okay some moves let's go out of the the theory here okay now we are going to say that stockfish 15 at 22 depth says knight b d7 bishop d6 and a6 are the best moves but if we go here and we put um, 14 depth we can see that this is going to change well not much because stockfish 15 is so strong that even on 14 depth it's very strong but as you can see now apparently bishop d6 is a slightly better move than knight to b7 knight b to d7 so the depth uh, changes the evaluation here and if we use I don't know stockfish uh, stockfish 15 faster probably it's going to say yet something else 
now it says again <laughs> um, well stockfish 15 is very strong but now you can see that it says that bishop b4 is the third best move but it's not because if we go to stockfish the stronger one and we go to 22 uh, depth and we go here we can see that bishop b4 is actually the fifth best move so it really depends on the depth of the engine uh yeah i believe they intend to they intend it to to work this way because it's a very quick uh, post game analysis but uh it it really doesn't matter what that analysis say so you know what let's play one minute bullet i'm going to play a one minute bullet game without audio because it might be annoying and we're going to see what happens i might lose this game because i'm i'm very bad at bullet so don't mind if i lose this game so i might uh, i'm going to play this but again i'm oh and the opponent blundered a piece so now we're winning but this is bullet so um you you never know in bullet okay now we win another uh pawn and now we're going to win a piece oh no there is this move uh we might just trade queens there to avoid any nonsense Oh yeah, the opponent blundered a, a piece. Okay, we will win this game, uh, hopefully. I'm not going to blunder on time, you never know. Uh, let's go here. Okay, let's go here. And now we simply, well, let's give a check. Now, queen here. Okay, we go here. This is crushing. Let's just make sure that we don't lose on time okay and yeah the, this is definitely better now and threatening checkmate here and we are going to win this rook maybe there is checkmate oh uh, i don't want to lose on time so i'm going to simply capture this let's go here uh, let's go here let's go here oh okay. God, I don't want to lose on time. But I'm probably going to. God damn. Oh, crap. <laughs> I just blundered. Oh. My rook. Oh, damn. I, I hate bullets. I hate this this uh, game mode. I lost on time, but I look at this. My opponent only had uh, 0.9 seconds. I blundered my queen. Yeah, bullet is definitely not my my game style. I was winning, but I'm too slow. Oh, and yeah, I just wanted to to show you the the thing here, but I disabled it, which I forgot so basically now uh, it will say something here let's say five blunders i don't know but when we go to the game review we see let's say two blunders instead of five but i hate bullet ah that's so annoying okay so i'm going to switch this one uh, back on and let's try again Let's try again, and I'm going to show you what I mean. Also, I think I've never played bullet in. Uh, yeah, this is a blunder now. If yeah, this is a mistake. I know this, this one. It's a mistake. Go 
over here of this well we can we simply bring more pieces this is not possible yeah probably uh, blunder there I mean I don't, didn't blunder really blunder but we have to trade now uh, which is not what I wanted to to do now uh, let's castle and this pawn is I mean we check uh, let's go here let's go here uh, okay let's go here damn I'm so slow okay let's go here now we go here Oh, what happened? Oh, it was my turn to move. <laughs> Damn. I'm too slow. I cannot play bullet. I really can't. Yeah, I'm too slow. I'm going to lose this on time. And sometimes, you know what happens? That I don't notice. Let's see, it's my turn to move. So this is one major problem I have in bullet. And now we won on time, nice. But there is a... Uh, okay, so uh, sorry Mark if I didn't read your comment. Now we, we're back to 1500, nice. Bullet is so hard to play, but it's fun to watch. Yeah, it's. I believe it's fun. Okay, now I don't know why uh, there is still no no evaluation here because I, I switched the settings on and because I wanted to show you, but apparently doesn't show, which is annoying. I really wanted to show this. Uh, now there should be a quick analysis here. So this this is annoying, but again I'm going to tell you again when you see the quick analysis here with mistakes blunders and missed wins it's always going to be different uh, from this it's going always going to be different of uh, oh and actually I was playing some in Italian player uh, which is interesting because it's very late as as I said it's very late now oh and this very nice tactic here I'm going to show this line quickly I know this stream is kinda uh, doesn't have a like a schedule doesn't have a program I'm just doing things but I hope you are finding this interesting and I also going to upload this so maybe you find some of these instructive uh, this is a very nice line in the London when they go here very fast very early you can instead of retreating here and take stakes and you have the semi open file you can go here and if they go here this is a mistake because when you retreat if they go here this is a huge mistake because this pawn is hanging you don't have to retreat you can simply capture these with the knight and when you capture with the knight it's different than capturing with the bishop because by capturing with the knight you open your queen and this knight is hanging on the same diagonal like, like this um, so after these you simply capture with check and now you are only up one pawn but you're going to be up two pawns now here i took with the bishop which was a uh, good taking with the queen was best okay you always learn a lot from analyzing your games so always remember to analyze your game but then what happened this check apparently this check was not good because i'm simply helping 
um, black to develop. So now I traded. I should probably just retreat here. Probably just retreating is better. Oh, queen takes is bad. Yeah, you see here, even the game review is different from the analysis. You see, the game review says that queen takes here is uh, excellent, but it's not the best move. But when you go to the analysis with stockfish 15, um, stronger one, 22 depth, you can see that it says here that queen d takes f8 is actually the, the best move. So you see, the review is different from the analysis. And the quick game review that is shown when you end the, uh, when you finish a game is even more different so um, but the game review is pretty good actually fun to to see that this was the best move <laughs> very interesting uh, now castling I played some bad moves here because I, I was more worried on the the, the what the the time trouble that uh, and so I, I wasn't thinking about what I was playing look at look at this maneuver I played I mean have you ever seen something like this look at this and then I brought my my uh, my rook back like this so we m managed to, to win on time which is surprising because I usually lose on time instead of winning and we got back to 1500 so that's good uh, so, so yeah I just wanted to show you Mark that uh, the game review has a better analysis than the quick post game analysis so don't worry if it says like eight blunders it's probably less than that but okay we played some bu uh, some bullet in live which is a something new uh, I hope that was interesting uh, but yeah you know what I believe it might be all for for today uh, today was a little stream shorter than the the other ones oh and you know what let's uh, so i hope that answered uh, your questions uh, mark so you know what before i end the stream i am actually going to play not this game because it, this game takes longer uh takes some time to to play a game of monstrum but i'm going to um to play Shotgun King, it's been a while since the last time I played this. Okay, so, sure? I'm going to play a game of this. Although the, the music might be a little annoying, so I'm going to lower this pretty much. Um, okay, so I don't know why it's in. Spanish. Let's change this to English. Okay, English. That's better. Okay, I got it. Thanks for explaining. No problem, Mark. Uh, yeah, but it's very weird. I agree. So, since I downloaded this game on my other computer, this is my uh, other computer. Uh, I see that it has, uh, doesn't have the, the games I played, so it's a brand new game. So we're going to, to play on the easiest mode probably. And this is different, uh, they uploaded the game, sorry, they, they updated the game. And I see that there is not only the shotgun, but there are more weapons, which, which is something new, this is very interesting uh, but 
we only have the, the first one, so we're going to start with the easiest um, mode here. Bad chest number 7 is solved. Yeah, nice. Uh, so, um, probably you already know the, the story, the lore of the, the game. Basically, you are the Black King and you have been a very bad uh, king. So, what happens? That everyone leave, uh, leaves you and you remain uh, alone. And they all go to the, the white king, like the white king is better than the black king. So what happens? That now the black king is left alone, as you can see, uh, and he's left with the royal shotgun. Now he's very angry and he wants its uh, vengeance. So this is the story. Oh, uh, hey Yaswan, how are you? It's been a while, I hope you are well. We are, are currently playing uh, Shot and Kling, uh, King, which you might know. Uh, so, it's very easy. Mm, I mean, it's not easy. This game is not easy at all, but the, the mechanics, like the how it works, is a very simple game, but it's very entertaining. Opinion. You have a shotgun, and the shotgun has a uh, small range, so you have to get close to the enemy pieces to shoot and deal a damage. So, four power damage. How is it going? Oh, it's going uh, pretty well. Yes, want. Uh, I'm actually thinking about making more live streams uh, more often because I'm actually really enjoying making uh, live streams so I might do more of them in the future uh, today I'm just uh, doing a, a small one because I'm kinda tired and I want to rest before uh, tomorrow you know mon tomorrow is Monday uh, there is a new week uh, of work and all that so I'm just doing a small live stream and then I'm going back uh, to rest uh, before work tomorrow. Oh, but I suppose in New Zealand it's already uh, Monday. Yeah, it's a lot of hours of difference in New Zealand. Okay, basically you, in this game you jump around, every time you jump, uh, you get, you reload one shot in your shot, one shell, and you have two shells, so you can shoot twice. Okay, now we won the first floor. This game is divided in floors. Uh, basically, when you uh, end one floor, when you win, you can choose one of two uh, set of cards. Now, one card, the black one, is good and the white one is bad. For example, in this case, the black card uh, grants us one ammo regeneration. That means that when we move, instead of reloading one shell, we reload two and plus one file range. So. Uh, we can shoot from a bigger distance and still deal uh, damage but the problem is that uh, we are going to face two more bishops uh, but one less knight so this one is nice this one is also nice the fire arc of the shotgun increases but it charges uh, one additional shell in our shotgun, so we are going to have three shells instead of two. The problem is that we are going to face one more rook, but at the same time we gain two ammo each time you kill a rook. So this one looks better to me. Of course, 
increased fire arc is not too good because sometimes you shoot. This is the fire arc, by the way. As you can see, it increases. Uh, like if I shoot from here, I'm not going to to hit anything. So I, I have to get closer first. This is why I always get closer. Now you see that due to the fire arc, uh, we don't deal damage just to the PZ in front of us, but also you see I didn't deal any damage to the knight, but I hit the pawn because I actually have to get closer. Now probably better to take the beast right here. Okay, another thing about this game is that if I shoot the knight, I'm going to lose because the rookie behind it is going to uh, attack me. So I'm going to step out of the way and I shoot. And we dealt damage to the rook too, which is good. Nice. So it's a very simple game, but uh, I believe this game is very entertaining. So uh, for those who are still watching, if you like this game, it's just uh, some way to end the stream with something different than chess. By the way, Yaswant, uh, thanks for joining. It's been a while. Um, but I'm back on YouTube, so I hope to make more videos, more live streams in the future. Uh, I really love to get to 500 subs. So oh, let's choose another one, high focus, minus 18 uh, degrees fire arc, plus 1 fire power, which is good, because we deal more damage, but the card doesn't work if a piece is close to us, and also the uh, this one is the same as before, remove one knight, add two bishops. Now this is a new card, I have never seen this one, undercover mission. When you reach the waypoint, choose a disruption effect and play an extra turn. So I have no idea what waypoint means, so I'm not going to choose this. Also because this one is very difficult, it removes one bishop, but you are going to face six more pawns so let's let's choose these and now as you can see the fire power is better so we are we can actually one shot that means uh, we can uh, kill in one shot the enemy rook which has five uh, health points and now we have five damage the fire arc but the reduces fire arc means that our shotgun is more accurate. So let's see if we can take the bishop from here. Well, we dealt 3 damage, which is good. We destroyed the bishop. Now, as you can see, the, the, uh, the card here is flipped because this card is exhausted because a piece is adjacent. I don't know how you pronounce that. To you so and it's this bishop so let's do that and now the card works again so we can spend one turn uh, without moving instead we can click here to reload the shotgun you see oh wait we uh, unlocked one ach uh, achievement so let's check this out reload your shotgun without moving nice I always like unlocking achievements now I had to move because we were under attack. Okay. Should have no problem. Nice. Let's get closer. Okay, no problems. Okay, now every time you beat the third floor, on the next one there is going to be the enemy queen which is obviously the strongest uh, piece but uh, we need uh, a good bonus now so sacred crown you can play an extra turn after using a soul card move or oh, soul cards i haven't explained this uh, yet i'm going to but this one is nice because we have 
minus one fire range, but <clears throat> plus one blade, which I don't understand because it must be something new. But the enemy king has minus two HP, which is a good thing. Okay, so as you can see, the enemy king now has two less uh, HPs. But now we have to be quick. Oh, luckily there are shields here that protects you from uh, dying accidentally because I moved here, which was covered by the bishop, and I didn't die because uh, the shield saved me. So I'm going to shoot. Okay, that's not good. Okay, we might be in trouble here. Uh, waypoint is like pre it's kinda like pre moving Okay, I'm going to, to see what that means. Because that's something new. Okay, now... Okay, now luckily we took the, the enemy uh, queen, because it, of course it's the strongest piece. So it's very dangerous when when the queen is close to you in this game, is it is very dangerous. Now, uh, let's take the rook. Oh, and this is new, the blade. Uh, the blade is something new. Oh, basically you can damage the pieces very close to you, which is, I believe it's good. Nice, we won. <laughs> Oh, plus one blade, it means like we have one blade. We can kill uh, nearby pieces with one life or less without spending any shells. That's nice. This one is also new. This didn't uh, exist before. So, cannon fodder. Use pawn souls to gain plus two firepower on your next shot. Okay, that's nice. Uh, ascension. Bishops can move and attack across any obstacle. Oh no, that's uh, way too strong. I mean, bishop can move and attack across any obstacles. Let's go with this. Probably a better one. We also gain plus one ammo regeneration, and plus one fire range, which we really need. Because here with this card, we lost one of uh, minus one fire range. Now we got that back, but look at how many pieces are there. Now this might be uh, might be quite dangerous. I hope you we can survive. But I'll be honest, this looks kind of scary. Okay, and at least we there are no more bishops, which is good. But look at this now. Uh, I cannot move, I cannot go anywhere, because everything is covered. Luckily, I have the Night Soul, which I can use to go here. I now used it, I moved like night out of danger, and now... Okay, now luckily we, we took the Rook, so we have... we can move. And now, if we deal 4 power, oh yeah, this might be the end, yeah, this is the end, guys. We can only deal 4 power, but the enemy queen has 5 uh, health points, so when I'm going to shoot, the queen is not going to die, and we are going to die instead. I cannot use the soul, because now I can move like a rook, but it's no help because everything is covered so I'm going to show you as you can see the uh, the shields helped me to prevented me to die from dying but now we are going to die still and that's very unlucky because we had f uh, five power but this card which gives us plus one power uh, doesn't work because the queen is very close to us so now we only have four power 
so I went to shoot but as you can see the queen didn't die and we died instead. Oh that was unlucky. Uh, probably I choose uh, the worst uh, cards here. So yeah that was unlucky but I hope you enjoyed. This was uh, Shotgun King, the final checkmate. Um, I'm going to end the stream now guys because uh, I'm probably just going to go back home and rest but I really appreciate uh, everyone who joined the stream we did some puzzles we played uh, the first bullet games I know it was only two games but these were, uh, were the first bullet games on my channel I mean, not on my channel, but uh, in my live streams. We played uh, one chess bot and then we played uh, a video game. So maybe I, I choose the, the right title uh, when I wrote here chess and video games, maybe. Uh, well, I did both uh, things. So anyway uh guys thanks for uh for joining the stream uh thanks mark for being on the stream uh a lot of time thanks uh Yazwant for being here thanks vivian for being here thanks to albert and francesco if you're wo going to watch this when i upload it thanks for being here on the stream uh, I'm going to stream again next week, so I'm going to to announce, this time I promise guys, I'm going to announce the live stream on my channel, let's see here in the community section, I'm going to publish a post uh, and I'm going to announce the, the time, uh, yeah. Hopefully we, we get to 500 subs soon, but for today uh, this should be everything. So thanks for watching guys and see you on my next video or live stream. Thanks and bye.